Hello everyone. Welcome to the Foam Rolling Basics video for Inspire22 members. This video, if you've watched the other mobility videos, those are mostly static and dynamic stretching, which are very important. Uh, foam rolling also is very important and it does something for us called self-myofascial release. Uh, what that is, is we have the fascia tissue that uh, can build up in our muscles and you know, makes them tight and we don't move them quite as well. So what this does is it breaks it down. So keep in mind when you are foam rolling or when you practice foam rolling, you want to do that first and then do static stretching after. So for today, I'm just going to walk you through some of the basic foam rolling strategies that I use that cover just about everywhere that we need to foam roll. And let's get to it. So we're going to start with our upper neck. And for that, uh, typically, you know, if you're at the gym or something, you might have a longer foam roller. This is the one that I have. It's like about a, maybe half the length of a typical one, uh, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to lay back and I'm going to have that right in between my shoulder blades. Now I want to keep, ideally you'd have a longer one where um, you could keep your low back flat on it, but I'm just going to focus on keeping my core engaged here. And then I'm going to open up kind of like when we do the workouts where we're doing a T, whether it's Spider-Man a T or hip hinge a T. We're really squeezing those shoulder blades together. And just allowing ourselves to feel all that. We can switch our hands and go out. And then if we really want to hit the upper neck, we can go up like this. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Especially if you're someone who's working on a computer all day. I highly recommend doing this upper one. You can also come here, do some W to Y. Engage those lats and that core. Help open up that. All right. Now, usually when I think of foam rolling personally, I think about the legs. So we're gonna transition into that. And we're gonna start with our glutes. So to do some foam rolling on our glutes, Start by just sitting on foam roller, like I am here. And then whichever one you want to roll out, you're gonna cross that leg over figure four. So I'm gonna do my left glute. So I'm gonna take my left leg, cross it over my knee. And then foam rolling, it's not actually, oh, right there. So rolling, <laughs> oh, I feel this. Rolling isn't the active part. The active part is when you find that tight spot, you just wanna sit on it. Right, and if you've seen the ankle mobility video, same thing when you're doing uh, the calf rolling with the, with the ball. And I'm just gonna hold it there for, you know, 30 seconds or so until that dissipates. Same with the other side. You might notice patterns. You might notice one side, the tightness is on a different, is in a different spot than the other side. And that's normal, you know, we're humans and we have movement compensations and sometimes we're activating different parts of different muscles more on one side than the other and that's just life and this is a big practice in getting back to balance so really feeling that excellent okay next i want to show you how to do the hip so start kind of like you were doing for your glute and then you're going to find so you don't want to be directly on your hip bone or on your hip flexor. You want to stay more towards your glute. And you're actually going to roll a little above it. And I feel it right there. I'll flip over and do the other side too, but it feels really good. Just the pressure there, breaking down that fascia so I can, you know, get deeper in my half pigeon or in my supine half pigeon, uh, whichever stretch I'm doing or even this uh, standing, you know, figure four. Um, wow, that feels really good. <laughs> I love foam rolling. Foam rolling, again, something that I personally practice about every day. That's how you get your hip. And then two, from here, I typically go straight into the IT band. So your IT band is this long band, essentially. It's a tendon that comes, or a muscle that comes from uh, like your rib cage all the way down to your knee. And we feel it right on the outside of our leg here. So I'm gonna, this might be really intense for you. I do this every day, so mine are pretty rolled out. You can start when you do this and have your leg down for support, as well as you know, your hand and your forearm. Or you get to this level where you just stack your legs up and roll it out and find that spot right there for me. That's it. 
like I said, typically I would just hold here for 30 to 40 seconds. Very nice. And then the natural progression from here, and again, you could you might feel that on the IT band anywhere on this this whole stretch, right? So make sure that you find the spot where it's tight and hold it there. My progression from the IT band is to go into the quad. So again, I'm gonna, I always like to start up towards as close to the core as possible and go the opposite way. So I'll make sure to hold back. There we go. Okay. Now if you have a longer one, you can do both at the same time. I only have this short one. So I'm gonna basically, kind of like the IT band, just kind of move down the quad until I find the spot that's really tight, which is right there. And again, if you don't have a, you don't have a um, foam roll, you can use a softball even. Uh, lacrosse balls are great, baseballs. Oh man, you could do more on that side, but you see what I'm saying, right? And then, you know, I would go through the entire other side with my left leg as well. Um, I'll do that after the video. You don't need to see both sides, but again, foam rolling is really important for mobility for breaking down that fascia and keeping us moving. There's actually one more I wanna show you, which is your lat. Now we're not doing pull-ups in this program, but we are doing different exercises that are engaging our lats. So for the lat, you wanna have it be flexed kinda. And then all you're gonna do is lay on it. And right there is the spot. And just hold it on there until it releases. Keeping that chest open, keeping that core tight as we're doing this, right? Whether we're flexing or whether we're stretching or, or moving or doing exercise, having our core drawn in and tight is a really important piece of that. Allowing this one. And then finally, there's one more you can do. Um, if you really want to get into your shoulders, you can go down. This is more like chest and shoulder, but again, you can find almost any part of your muscle uh, any muscle in the body, find where you might have some fascia or where it feels tight and just kind of mash it out. That's the way it goes. So yeah, I can hold my shoulder on there for quite a while. I realize you might not be able to see it very well. So I'll try it on this side. Feels good. And then actually I want to go back to the legs because I forgot. Um, you know, front's really important obviously. And then I know it's in the ankle mobility, but you can use a foam roller for your calves, which is fantastic. I could definitely do some more rolling on my calves. Uh, and then you've also got the chance, starting like you're doing glutes, but to do your hamstrings as well. Uh, I prefer one at a time with those. So again, foam rolling, you know, staying mobile, moving the way we're supposed to is gonna help us move more and continue to move. So those are my foam rolling basics. I hope you enjoy and get the chance to practice. And as always, keep inspired. Thank you.